Hi, I'm Chris Straub today, and we're going to talk about cylinder heads, except I'm not going to use a cylinder head. I'm going to use a paper towel tube. I'm going to use a stainless steel drink straw and a paper wad. So one thing that I see on the internet constantly, and probably the largest mistake, and as an industry we're very guilty of it, is bigger is better. Somebody thinks that they need a bigger cylinder head, bigger camshaft, and that you're going to make more power. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Again, I've preached it for years. Math is what we need to use. There's a mathematical equation to figure out runner volume or minimum cross-sectional area in the cylinder head, and that's what you're after, okay? Volume does not fill the engine. Correct volume with correct velocity fills, um, fills the deal. I see on Facebook groups, I see on forums, I, I see people, I uh, just had one the other day call me up and uh, building a 427, I think it's a 1970 El Camino, uh, 427, 60 over, and he's bought a set of aftermarket heads that are 335 cc's. This thing's not going to see over 6,000 RPM. I told him it will be a slug. It will not run. Silence over the phone. He says, well, somebody else told me that. That's right, because volume doesn't fill that cylinder, and we're dealing with a short stroke big block Chevrolet, so it doesn't need that much cross-sectional area that that cylinder head has. It's velocity. Velocity fills the cylinder, and you want that correct minimum cross-sectional area to maximize the velocity over the RPM range that the engine's gonna run. So you've got RPM range, what you need to deal with, you need the cross-sectional area of the cylinder head to maintain that velocity for the best average from 1800 RPM to whatever it's going to see. Now, just because you want to make power at 6000 RPM, you need to be a realist. This thing's probably not going to see over 4500 uh, while you're running it. So you need to err towards a little bit smaller cylinder head. So one of my... Uh, uh, Joe would be a, a mentor, uh, Joe Patel, uh, HVH. He owns a company down in Knoxville, Tennessee called HVH, uh, and that's an acronym for three words. And Joe is probably one of the gifted, most talented, most respected cylinder head porters in the country. Well, HVH stands for high velocity heads, not high volume heads. Okay, and I'm going to show you a simple deal that any of you all can bench race with all your buddies if you, do, if you think I'm full of BS and just preaching to you on this that I don't know what I'm talking about. Here we have a simple paper towel tube. We have simple paper wad. I'm going to stick this in front of me. This is too large a cylinder head on your engine. Okay, this is the airspeed. This is the fuel molecule that you need to get into that chamber. I'm going to bend down here. <laughs> uh, got choked up. Anybody said paper wad move? No. Drink straw. Velocity. Don't go with a cylinder head too large. Go to any mathematical website that's got minimum cross-sectional area. MCSA. Look that up on the internet. Figure out, put in what you're doing with the engine, the cubic inch and the RPM range, and let it give you the cross-sectional area that you need. Do not put a 335 cc head on a 427 big block. That's not going to see 9,000 RPM, because that's where it would need to be. Put a cylinder head on it, that will work. Velocity, not volume. You can do this at your house. Remember, at Straub Technologies, we don't build engines, we build combinations.